Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Clipchamp is the default video editing app that's found in Windows 11. And basically it allows you, as many of you will know, to combine your videos, images, and audio files, as well as add text and effects. And then you can save that finished video to your local drive in your computer. And as an example, upload that to your different social media accounts and platforms. Now, Clipchamp can also be downloaded from the Microsoft Store um, for Windows 10 if you want to use it over on Windows 10. And I thought just a quick video um, just to keep you posted because Microsoft has recently announced a couple of new features um, that have been made available in Clipchamp. And this announcement was made on the 7th of December, so that's a couple of days ago. So I thought if you are using a Clipchamp as your video editing app, then just to highlight some of these changes if you would find that of, of interest and of benefit. Now, first of all, um, there's this new auto compose that uh, Clipchamp uses to create a video using artificial intelligence. Now, this is highlighted as a new feature, but um, I don't know why Microsoft is calling this new because I actually posted on this back in May of this year. And um, I showed you how you can actually quickly create a video with Clipchamp's new AI feature. And I'll leave that video down below if you would be interested. But nonetheless, basically, um, if you upload your photos and videos, and you can pick a video style and then let um, Clipchamp's AI artificial intelligence um, create a video using AI for you. And uh, um, as mentioned, go check that video out if you want more info. And then something else that Microsoft is highlighting from this announcement that is a new feature is the new content library. So for this, we're just going to head over to a test project just to demonstrate for the purpose of this video. And I'm not going to dive um, like an in-depth overview for all these features. Just a quick overview just to keep you posted and in the loop if you would be interested. So here you get your new content library found in the left-hand menu. And Microsoft says this is where you can... Uh, discover higher higher quality and relevant stock assets all in one place and you can also use the new content library to explore all stock elements including video images music graphics stickers and backgrounds and you can also view recently used and trending featured assets all from this new content library now um the next two features microsoft um they say that these have recently rolled out so these are actual new features that have rolled out and they started on the 30th and first of uh, the 30th of November and the 1st of December. So you may have seen this already in Clipchamp, depending on your region. You may have not. And this is according to feedback, where there is now audio recording, a new audio recording feature. So for this, we're going to head over to Record and Create, and then Screen Capture. And this means now that you can create voiceovers, and that means you can add auto captions. And this voiceover feature can also uh, be much quicker than creating text from scratch, as many of you may know. And with separate voiceover tracks, uh, you can do things like update and edit your voiceover without needing to edit your entire video. And here we can see the uh, recording is limited to 30 minutes. And uh, you can choose audio from the list of recording tools. And um, this rolled out starting the 1st of December. And I actually think this is a nice, this uh, voiceover feature is a nice um new improvement to Clipchamp. And then the second one, just to mention briefly, this started rolling out on the 30th. And it's um, if we head to text uh, to speech, it's text to uh, speech editing. So this means that you can now create AI voiceovers using the text to speech tool. As we can see, they've labeled this as a new feature. So you can basically do things like change the language, voice, emotion, pitch, and edit the script from the property uh, panel. And I think this is another um, nice improvement to Clipchamp, just making it more of a holistic video editing app. And this rolled out as mentioned on the 30th. So that's just a couple of um, highlights uh, for uh, the, Clipchamp app, the, the Clipchamp app, if you are interested, that Microsoft has mentioned in that announcement. And as mentioned, that other video on how to quickly create a video um, using the new AR feature in Clipchamp will be down below if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.